Hello children, welcome to AIMS India's live class session. Today from physics subject, light topic we are going to continue. So we are going to discuss some questions regarding the light topic, regarding reflection of light and the spherical mirrors. So that Sunday you will be having the online exam. So this, uh, this model questions will appear in the online exam. So regarding online exam, we will be sharing one video with your school management. So with that, you can find out how to attempt the online exam, online exam timings and everything. There you can find out. Otherwise, tomorrow you can visit our website aimstudy.in for the details of the online exam. Okay, children, let's start the questions. <coughs> Here the question is, the image formed by a concave mirror is found virtual, erect and enlarged. Virtual, erect and enlarged. So, where should be the object placed? The question is, where should be the object placed? First one, at the center of curvature, between pole and focus, between focus and uh, center of curvature, beyond center of curvature. Like this, four options we have. What is the correct option? Here, the given mirror is concave mirror. The given mirror is concave mirror. So, concave mirror means the caved, the curved inward part, the curved inward surface will act like reflecting surface. This will act like reflecting surface and the curved outward part will act like hard surface. Will act like hard surface. So here, this is the pole. This is the pole. Principal axis passing through focus and pole passing through center of curvature. This is the principal axis. Now, if you place the object in which place, the image will be virtual. Virtual means formed on the inside the mirror, formed here, inside the mirror. Erect means standing straight. Top portion and the bottom portion will not change and enlarged. Enlarged means somewhat bigger. Enlarged means somewhat bigger. So this kind of image we will get in what case? So yesterday only we have learnt. We can keep the object at infinity, beyond C, at C, between C and F, at F. In concave mirror, in these five cases, we will get real image. In these five cases, we will get real image. So, there is only one case where we will get virtual image that is between focus and pole. Between focus and pole. Like shaving mirror. Only in this case, we will get virtual erect and enlarged image. So, the for getting image with these characteristics, the object to be placed between focus and pole. Between focus and pole. So, children, what is the correct answer? Option B is the correct one. Option B is the correct one. So, next. So, where should an object be placed in front of a convex lens? Okay, children, this uh, question is about lens. Still that uh, concept not completed. So, let's skip this question. Let's go to next question. The question is, a ray of light falls on a plane mirror. It's not placed. Falls on a plane mirror making an angle of 30 degrees with the mirror, 
with the mirror on reflection the ray deviates through an angle of dash question mark so we have a plane mirror a ray of light falls on a plane mirror we have a plane mirror so one side upper part acts like a reflecting surface bottom part silvered bottom part silvered on this plane mirror a ray of light a ray of light striking the plane mirror with an angle 30 degrees means the ray is touching the mirror here the ray is touching the mirror here at the point of incidence we have to draw a normal we have to draw a normal n this is incident ray incident ray the ray is making 30 degrees means with the normal with the normal it will make 30 degrees so according to loss of reflection what happens it will be reflected back into the same medium with the same angle with the same angle 30 degrees with the same angle 30 degrees it will be reflected back reflected ray now they are asking with what angle the ray will deviate with what angle the ray will deviate they are asking the angle let's see the options option a 60 30 90 120 so what is the correct option here deviate means changing its path changing its path why it is changing its path because it is touching a mirror it is striking with a mirror if there is no mirror what happens to light ray it will go straight if there is no mirror it will go straight it will go straight like this because of mirror it is going like this because of mirror it is going like this so what is deviation this part will be the deviation means instead of going like this it is going like this this will be the change in path this will be the change in path what is this angle so according to mathematics what is the answer children you can give the answer through live chat you can give the answer through live chat what is the answer children so according to mathematics this will be the straight line straight angle because the complete angle on one side of a straight line will be straight angle whose value is equal to 180 degrees whose value is equal to 180 degrees now they are asking this part means from 180 part 180 part this 30 we have to minus this 30 we have to minus means 180 minus 30 minus 30 so 60 we have to minus so we will get 120 we will get 120 degrees so the angle of deviation is 120 degrees the deviation is happening because of the mirror because of the mirror okay children next d is the correct option next a child runs towards the plane mirror with a velocity of 5 meter per second with a velocity of 5 meter per second with what speed will his image move towards him means if the object is moving with a speed of 5 meter per second with what speed image will move with what speed image will move suppose this is the mirror suppose this is the mirror this is the mirror here observer is, observer is here the image of the observer is inside the mirror now the question is if the observer 
moves with a speed of 5 meters per second what about the speed of the image what about speed of the image so here the options are 5 meter per second 10 meter per second 0 15 meter per second here you have to follow the logic because the image means what is the meaning of image here the object if it behaves in what way the image also behaves in the same way suppose uh, if the observer is here observer is here one of his friend is here the friend is at rest position the friend is at rest position the observer is moving with a speed of 5 meter per second so according to his friend what is the speed of observer 5 meter per second because he is at rest with what speed the this object is moving thus that will be the same speed observed by the rest position of the friend but in the mirror what happens if the object moves image also will be start moving image also will be start moving so if the object is moving fast image also will appear to move fast towards him move fast towards him so what we have to do means here we have to take relative velocity because if mirror moves with a speed of 5 meter per second with respect to mirror the image also will move with a speed of 5 meter per second with respect to mirror with respect to mirror but here what we are asking towards him with what speed it is coming to him because he is going with the 5 meter per second image also coming to him with 5 meter per second in terms of relative velocity we have to add both because he is moving 5 meter per second the image also moving 5 meter per second for his movement image movement also to be added so we have to logically we have to think that the image is moving with a speed of 5 plus 5 10 meter per second because as as he is approaching image we have to add that speed also okay so 5 plus 5 with 10 meter per second speed the image will move towards him with a double speed why means because of relative velocity because of relative velocity next the linear magnification produced by a concave mirror is always positive is always positive why because this uh, magnification also we have not learnt let us skip this question next a ray of light a ray of light falling normally normally means perpendicularly normally means perpendicularly or with 90 degrees angle with 90 degrees angle with 90 degrees angle a ray of light falling normally on a plane mirror on reflection what happens to the ray of light what happens to the ray of light so one retraces its path deviate through 90 degrees reflect parallel do not reflect at all so we have a plane mirror this is the normal this is the normal we have a light ray we have light ray we have light ray passing through plane mirror with 90 degrees angle with 90 degrees angle with 90 degrees angle or along the normal then what happens to it with the normal it is making 0 degrees angle or no rate of angle any ray passing through the normal will be reflected back in the 
same direction will be reflected back in the same direction we call it as retracing retraces its path retraces its path so here uh, if it falls uh, obliquely with 30 degrees angle reflects with 30 degrees angle but if it is passing through normal it will be reflected back along with the normal so answer is retraces its uh, path next so okay a concave mirror produces an image of 20 cm height which is 5 times magnified the height of the object is they are asking they are telling that with the concave mirror we are getting a image of what height 20 cm height magnification symbol is m magnification symbol is m here uh, height of the object sorry height of the image hi hi equal to 20 cm then they are asking height of the object how much height of the object how much and what they are telling 5 times magnified this uh, image is 5 times magnified what is the meaning of 5 times magnified 5 times becoming bigger 5 times becoming bigger 5 times becoming enlarged so here magnification means magnification means uh, height of the image by height of the object what is the height here 20 centimeter object height how much let us take uh, or no 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 because magnification not at uh, topic completed we can calculate orally image 5 times magnified so what is the height of object we have to divide 20 with 5 we have to divide 20 with 5 so what will be the size 4 cm object size will be 4 cm 4 5 are 20 so means 5 times magnified so answer is 4 cm so children the answer is 4 cm regarding magnification we will learn in next class next next question in uh, torches searchlights headlights of vehicles the bulb is placed the bulb is placed uh, there in tor if you take a torch light such like headlight of any vehicle you in the, you see a doom you see a doom kind of mirror mirror back side bulb will be there back side bulb will be there actually one more uh, one more mirror will be there back side bulb will be there they are telling that where the bulb will be placed where the bulb will be placed here very near to the focus of the reflector between the pole and focus of the reflector at the center of curvature of reflector between the focus and center of curvature of the reflector because here in uh, such light torch lights or headlights headlights of vehicles here the lighting like the light coming from the bulb will be enlarged bulb will be enlarged so that we can have a wide field of view field of view will be more so that light covers the total road the field of view will be more why the field of view is more? Because from the reflector, light will get enlarged. Light image will get enlarged. Light image will get enlarged. That is possible when the light is very nearer to the focus. 
very nearer to the focus if it is very nearer to the focus then only we will get a enlarged image we will get a enlarged image so option a is the right answer so next so you have caught your left ear you are touching your left ear but it appears that you have caught your right ear it means that you are standing in front of a this answer you can easily answer children through live chat you can easily answer this this one concave mirror plane mirror convex mirror transparent glass what is the correct answer children because the in the plane mirror we can observe images which are laterally getting inverted left will become right right will become left if you raise your right hand in the image it appears that you have raised your left hand if you caught your left ear it appears that you have you caught your right ear that lateral inversion so here uh this is called vertical inversion vertical inversion suppose i i have a block like this ab ab but in the mirror it appears like ba because there it is happening lateral inversion top or portion ab is like that only bottom portion cd is like that only but ab interchanging laterally cd interchanging laterally that's why on the ambulance also the spelling will be written in a lateral inversion method so that if you see in the mirror rear view mirror it appears uh, straight it appears straight so come on the answer is this will happen in where plane mirror not only plane mirror some some more cases are there but general answer is plane mirror so next okay chala let's say discuss some more questions suppose uh, here you have a regarding key terms regarding the key terms you have you have a quiz here regarding key terms the first one is object that gives out gives out its own light its own light means like sun sun will give its own light what we call it as here we have options its own light so we call it as self luminous formed by actual intersection of light rays because here here a uh, intersection of light rays intersection of light rays where the light rays will meet there image will be formed but what type of uh, intersection actual actual intersection actual intersection means what image will be formed real image actual intersection means real image okay next light travels in straight line we call this property as what is the answer children you are having options here what is the correct answer here yes rectly near propagation of light okay next the apparent movement of one object relative to other due to the motion of the observer just now uh, in previous example we have seen uh, movement of uh, observer and movement movement of object and movement of image like that like that apparent movement of one object relative to other due to the motion of the observer 
due to the motion of the observer. So, if I am on the planet sun or, or if uh, I am standing on the earth, I am standing on the earth, the earth is moving, I am moving. If I observe the uh, position of star, the position of star will be appear moving. It is because the movement of the earth. It is. It may be because of movement of earth, because of movement of star. So, like that, the apparent movement of one object in relation to movement of other object, we call it as parallax. Parallax movement. We call it as parallax movement. Next, the bouncing of light of an object, hitting an object and bouncing back. Hitting an object and bouncing back, it is called as what property? Reflection property. It is called as reflection property. Formed by, formed by apparent intersection of light rays. Here light rays, actually they are meeting. But here how they are meeting? Apparent, apparent intersection of light rays. Apparent intersection of light rays. What is the answer? Sorry children, all answers are gone. Apparent intersection, virtual image. Object which does not give out light. If it uh, won't give light means it is called non-luminous. Uh, won't light, self-luminous. Actual intersection, real image. Travelling in straight line, rectilinear propagation. Apparent movement, parallax method. Bouncing back, reflection of light. Let's check the answers. Yes, true. All answers are correct. Okay, children. It is a small quiz regarding the terms. Small quiz regarding the terms. Uh, next, see some gap filling quiz. Gap fill, filling quiz regarding the reflection of light. Gap filling quiz. Light is a form of dash which travels at a speed of 3 into 10, 10 power 8 meter per second. Means 3 lakh kilometers per second. Light is a form of what is the answer? Bounces energy, normal, real, reflection to virtual. What is the answer here? Light is a form of energy. Reflection occurs when light dash of an object when light bounces off. When light bounces off. There are dash laws of reflection. How many laws are there? Two laws. Incidence equal, angle of incidence equal to angle of reflection. Uh, incident ray, reflected ray, normal, all lie in the same plane. All lie on the same plane. How many laws are there? Two laws. Okay, children. The angle of incidence is equal to angle of dash. What is the answer, children? Angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. And the incident ray, the dash and the reflected ray are all in the same plane. What they are asking? Incident ray, one. Dash they have given. Reflected ray, second. They have given. Dash lie in the same plane. What is remaining? Normal. Normal means perpendicular line. Three of them lie in the same plane. Next, dash image is formed by the actual intersection of light rays. Actual intersection means real image. Actual intersection means real image. Dash image is formed by Apparent intersection. Apparent intersection means virtual image. Virtual image means which is formed inside the mirror. Real image means we can catch it on a screen. 
Okay, children. Let's check. Okay. Next. <coughs> In the same way, regarding spherical mirror also. Regarding spherical mirror also. Let's uh, see some terms. Formed by actual intersection of light rays. They give actual. Actual intersection means. So here mirror formula and uh, other formulas are there. Still uh, the topic not completed. Let's go back to another quiz. A reflection of light. Okay, first question. The apparent movement of an object relative to the motion of observer. Just now we have told the apparent movement. The apparent movement of an object relative to the motion of observer. What it is called? It is called non parallax convergence lateral inversion parallax it's called parallax movement okay next the image in plane mirror is always the image in plane mirror is always virtual erect same size real erect diminished virtual laterally inverted diminished virtual erect diminished real erect same size what is the correct answer children a b c d e what is the correct answer try to guess through light chart what is the nature of image in plane mirror can we catch it we can't. So it is virtual. It is virtual. What about size? Object size will be image size. Object size will be image size. Size will be same. Left to become right. So laterally inverted. Laterally inverted. Head portion will be same, like head. Foot portion will be like foot. So it is called erect. It is called erect. Erect means top and bottom portions not changed. Virtual means we can't catch the image. Laterally inverted means left to becoming right. This is also right. But here they gave diminished. Here they gave diminished. Is this answer right? Wrong children. Why means? Virtually is correct. Lateral inversion is correct. But size becoming small is wrong. Three characteristics to be right. So that's why this is wrong. Virtual correct. Erect correct. Same size correct. So this answer correct. Okay. This is the correct answer. Next. On most ambulance, ambulances, its name is written such that it can be read in the rear view mirror of, of the car in front of it. This phenomena is known as. This phenomena is known as. Why? Left to becoming right. Left to becoming right. That is known as lateral inversion. That is known as lateral inversion. So D option is the correct answer. B option is the correct answer. Okay, D answer is the correct option. 
Next, Crookes radiometer. We have not learnt. Okay, next this one. Image formed by apparent. Image formed by. Let me underline this word, children. Highlight this word. Apparent intersection of right right rays. Apparent means really they are not meeting. They appear to meet. They appear to meet. They appear to meet means which image? Virtual. They appear to meet means which image? Virtual. Okay. Next. So what is the answer for this question? This experiment. What does it will tell? We have a light bulb. We have an observer. Card uh, cardboards are there. One small hole is made on the cardboards. He is uh, able to see the light. What does it means? Light rectilinear propagation of light. Rectilinear propagation of light, which means light travels in a straight line. Light travels in a straight line. Okay, children. Next. Angle of incidence twenty five degrees. What about angle of reflection? Already we have learned through loss of reflection, incidence is equal to angle of reflection. Both are same. So answer is fifth. If the angle of incidence is twenty five, reflection also twenty five. Correct answer. Okay. Next. The pinhole of a pinhole camera is made larger. This also we have not learnt. This one. Now they have given the diagram. They are asking what is the angle of reflection? What is the angle of reflection? Okay, here. This part, this part, this thirty-five degrees part, they have given. They they have given. This is a making with the mirror. Making with the mirror, we have thirty-five degrees. Making with the mirror, we have thirty-five degrees. So this part, up to normal ninety degrees. So this part will be thirty-five plus fifty-five. Thirty-five plus fifty-five, ninety degrees. So angle of incidence is fifty-five. Because angle of incidence is fifty-five, reflection also fifty-five. So fifty-five degrees is the correct answer. Next. So what is the diverging beam in this case? What is the diverging beam? Diverging means. What is the meaning of diverging? Starting at a point, going away. Starting at a point, going away. Here parallel. Here they are coming closer. Here they are going away. Here they are intersecting. So correct answer is option A. Object that gives out its own light. Own light means luminous. Own light means luminous. Okay, the diagram shows a ray of light reflected from a plane mirror. Plane mirror. The angle of incidence they are asking. The angle of incidence they are asking. But here uh, they have not given any value. They have not given any value. Because this angle with the mirror normal will make ninety degrees. With the mirror normal will make ninety degrees. It is almost in the middle. It is almost in the middle. Means let us say forty five. This side also forty five. Forty five forty five equal to ninety degrees. So here both the values to be equal to ninety degrees. So approximately 
it is in the middle if you guess with 40 degrees it is wrong if you guess with 50 degrees it is telling correct but actually they have not mentioned the values approximately if you take means or with the help of protractor if you measure means it is either 50 or 40 uh, we are not measuring here it is 50 okay children in this way you are going to have some questions in the online exam uh, this week exam will be somewhat easy only because this is a some of you for the first time you are attempting the online exam so that's why simple questions only we have discussed for sentinel still you will get some difficult question questions okay children uh, we will share one video regarding the online exam tomorrow thank you children